Vanilla JavaScript refers to using plain, pure JavaScript. No framework, no library. Here is an example. We did not use Angular React View jQuery Express Backbone Ember or another library or framework. We used vanilla JavaScript, pure JavaScript. The sun eclipsed in the lifetime of all his apostle on the day when his son, Ibrahim, died. So the people said that the sun had eclipsed because of the death of Ibrahim. All his apostle said, the sun and the moon do not eclipse because of the death or life. JavaScript Event Listeners Let's add a button with the ID test and toggle colors written inside. We can access HTML IDs as global variables in JavaScript code. We have added an event listener. When the mouse hovers over the button, the setDark function will be called. Let's add another listener. We can attach multiple listeners to a single element. This time, when the mouse moves away from the button, the setLight function will be called. Let's add the setDark and setLight functions. When the setDark function is called, the background color of the document will change to black and the text color of the button will change to purple. When the setLight function is called, the background color of the document will change to white and the text color of the button will change to black. Let's try the code we have written and see what happens. When I hover the mouse over the button, the setDark function runs. When I move the mouse out of the button, the setLight function runs. When your companion dies, then do not abuse him. JavaScript button on click function. Let's add a button. Write change background inside. When clicked, make change background function run. Let's add the change background function. When called, set the document's background color to this. Let's try the code. Successful. For better separation of concerns, we can write our code like this. Also, a white has no superiority over a black, nor a black has any superiority over a white except by piety and good action. JavaScript showing button-based messages. The final result of what we are going to do is this. Let's add the buttons. The added buttons appear in the center because I set the body CSS to text align center. Clicking the buttons will change this paragraph. Let's open the script tags and write JavaScript code. Select all button elements with an ID attribute and store them in a variable. Loop through all buttons, assigning the show explanation function to their click events. Let's write show explanation. We will get explanations using button IDs. Text content of the result paragraph will be replaced with the explanation. The get explanation function takes the ID of the clicked button. The explanation function contains an object with key value pairs, where each key corresponds to a button ID. If no match is found, it will return no explanation. Let's try it. Successful. JavaScript object methods. Let's add an object named person. Let's add a few key value pairs. We call these key value pairs properties. Now let's add a method. When a function is used within an object, we call it method. When we invoke this method, it will write something to the screen. We can print the values of properties using dot notation. We can also invoke the methods using dot notation. When they are told, do not spread corruption in the land, they reply. We are only peacemakers. JavaScript, how to read a local JSON file using fetch API. Let's write a test JSON file. The JSON file contains a country's array with objects having keys and values. Let's read the file with JavaScript. Fetch test JSON retrieves a response from the file. After fetching, take the response and use its JSON method to obtain a JavaScript object. This arrow function returns a JavaScript object. 
Related data is transmitted as a string. Now we have JavaScript object. Then take the JavaScript object and send it to the show info function. Here is the show info function. Takes the data and writes the countries to the console. If we hadn't converted it into an object, we couldn't access properties like data.countries or perform operations like sorting, filtering, or manipulation. JavaScript, making the page editable in the browser. Write to the browser console. Document body, content editable true. Now you can edit the page content. Let's change one minute coder to two minute coder. To disable editing, we write document body content editable equals false. A true believer does not taunt or curse or abuse or talk indecently. JavaScript callback function. The function add takes A and B and returns their sum. And the divide function returns A divided by B. The calculate function accepts two numbers, X and Y and a function. When I call the calculate function, I am essentially invoking the function specified in the operation parameter. If I pass add, it returns the sum of x and y. If I pass divide, it performs a division operation. Let's pass 2 for x, 2 for y, the sum is 4. 2 for x, 2 for y, the division result is 1. The add function is a callback because it is passed to another function for later execution. Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim.